What's up, everybody? This is John John with some Urban Discipleship. It's Holy Week. It's Passion Week. And so uh, what I want to do tonight is just to kind of help you to take your mind to the cross and uh, hopefully uh, help you to love Jesus a little bit more. Uh, one of my favorite hymns is At the Cross. Uh, at the cross, at the cross. Uh, and uh, the, it's the end of that hymn that I love so much. At the end of the course, it says, It was there by faith that I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. I love that because it, it points to the centrality of the cross of Christ. It points to the importance of the cross in the life of the Christian because it was there that we received our spiritual sight. It was at the cross where we were brought back to God, and now we stand in a loving relationship with him. We now are right with God because of what Christ did on the cross. And this is important because uh, this is the reason why we love Jesus. This is the reason why he is so important and he's so valuable to us. We say things like he's the greatest treasure of our soul. He's our chief and our highest affection. It is because we say things like that because it is he that died on the cross for us. But I do think that that love, that affection can grow when we begin to understand the nature of of the atonement. And uh, I want to help us to do that by unpacking real quick this idea of propitiation. Propitiation simply means to appease. It simply means to pacify. It simply means to satisfy. Uh, and, and this idea of propitiation finds its basis in the fact that because of man's sinfulness, God's divine displeasure and wrath rests upon him. We hate that. But scripture is clear that we are all sinners, and because we are sinners, the wrath of God now rests upon us. Let me prove that to you. Paul says in Romans 1, he says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man. And then in Ephesians 1, he says that we are all by nature objects of God's wrath. Because we have sinned, we now stand under the wrath of God. But glory to God that things don't stay that way. Bless the Lord that he didn't leave us in that condition, but he made a highway from earth to bring glory, and that is through the wondrous cross of Jesus Christ. But here's where this beauty, uh, this, this beautiful idea of propitiation comes in. God's wrath is upon us, but check it out. When Jesus dies, he removes that wrath from us. He takes our sin upon himself. He who knew no sin becomes sin. The penalty that we had earned and that was due to us, he took it upon himself. And God is now satisfied because of it. Now listen to what Isaiah says. But he was pierced through for our transgressions. He being Jesus was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him. And by his scourging, by his stripes, y'all, we are healed. He swallowed the wrath of God for us. And now we are no longer enemies, but we are children of the Most High God. I'm getting excited because of all that has been uh, given to me in the cross of Jesus Christ. This idea of propitiation, this idea of the removal of the wrath of God from me causes me to continue that old hymn where it says, drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. Dear Lord, I give myself away. It's all that I can do. Praise God that I am no longer under his wrath because of the, the death of Jesus Christ. So I want you to do a couple things for me. Love God and each other. 